Hi. Hi. This video is about risk and risk measures in mutual funds. As you know, when it comes to mutual funds, it is subject to market risk. So we have so many risk factors involved. So what are what is risk and what are the factors involved and how to measure it? This is what we are going to see in the coming series. And these are the topics systematic risk, non-systematic risk, variance, standard deviation and beta. These are the topics we are going to see. So let us start with systematic risk. Systematic risk is also known as market risk, is also known as market risk. There are certain things which are beyond the control of an investor. Like it could be movement in interest rates, it could be political scenario, it could be economical scenario or it could be any change in GDP figures etc. These changes or these happenings are not in the control of anybody. And whenever these figures change, whenever such an event happens, it will affect the performance of mutual fund. In the sense, it will affect the market that will in turn affect your performance. That will in turn affect your mutual fund performance. This kind of risk is known as systematic risk. The risk which arises from macroeconomic and political factors macroeconomic and political factors and you should remember that this risk cannot be diversified or you cannot do away with this risk you have to accept it all mutual fund schemes carry market risk it is an integral part of the portfolio so it cannot be diversified it cannot be reduced this is known as systematic risk and the next one is non-systematic risk. So what is non-systematic risk? Non-systematic risk is unique to a particular company or unique to a particular industry. In the sense, there might be labor problems associated with a particular industry. There might be some changes in the management or change in customer preference over a particular product manufactured by a company or product might have become obsolete. These are the risks involved or associated with a particular company or particular industry. This kind of risk is what we call as non-systematic risk. Non-systematic risk like as you know we had a time where most of the people used typewriters. Now it has been replaced by computers, isn't it? So typing has become obsolete. So how about the typing industry? So this risk is what we call as system, non-systematic risk. But non-systematic risk can be diversified, can be reduced. How? It can be reduced by diversification instead of investing in a particular company instead of investing in a particular stock you can spread your investments you can invest in different industries you can invest in different companies in that way you can reduce non-systematic risk and these two risks put together that is systematic risk and non-systematic risk is what we call as total risk of a portfolio total risk of a portfolio so again i repeat uh, whatever we have discussed in simple points market risk or systematic risk refers to features which are beyond our control like macroeconomic factors non systematic risk refers to features which are due to changes in a particular industry or a particular company these two risks combined together is known as total risk and it will affect the market 
I mean, it will affect the mutual fund performance. Thank you.